Welcome back everyone. Today we play Stronghold. A map for 12 players, up to 12 players. And we play 4 vs 4 vs 4. Three people will defend at the beginning and I will defend here. It's basically a tower wars but without mazing. So I'm the last defender so I will let the other guys build. And first off, I'm going to save for the level 2 headquarters. Because they're really worth. Because then we can put a lot of pressure on them already. So I will get behind a bit in income. But that's fine. I will get 40 income for this now. And I will be able to send big units. So let's go. It's also not that bad if you leak something, um, you don't lose lives, you have your headquarters that have to survive. So I will try to protect them now, because we are leaking some units. But that should almost be enough. Nah, maybe a little more. They don't do that much damage, so we're fine. Ready for and it's important to keep sending. If you need a lot of income, then you can build up more, you can send more. And at some point you will you will maybe try to try to kill the enemy when it's time for it. So I will definitely try to win this game. Playing together with Razor Freak. Telnerose, I don't know, don't know him. And green. Wait. Is green even in the game? Oh, okay, we play as three people, but that's actually not bad. Because then this, this means yellow will get much more gold and we'll be able to uh, feed him up a bit. Okay. Oh, look at this, perfect. I wanted to save for next headquarter and I will have exactly 800 gold now. Perfect. So we can send the real, really bad guys soon. Well, I mean, they're not that strong, but at some point, if you get much stronger units suddenly, then you really have a problem. So we really actually leak some units here. So I have to build a bit, but that's fine, not that many leaks. And now I can send more. So someone was, was pretty early with the, with the priest, with the level 3 unit. I could also use the, sh to use the hotkeys of course, <laughs> instead of clicking. So yeah, everyone is sending priests. And yellow yellow is, is leading in income because he's simply getting uh, getting two spawns at the moment. And the leaks from orange. So hopefully he's we are able to feed him. So he carries this game for us. Okay, not many leaks here. I don't need to build. That's enough what I have. But it's time to get some better headquarters soon. There we go. Level 4 units. Southern Frost has lost 2 headquarters, 3 headquarters. Wow. Uh, Red is still still surviving though, but he should die soon then, because he's still leaking. Like, yeah, he should be dead as well now. But wow, 
surprising that they that they suddenly die there. And red is okay. Red died. Okay. Well, that was pretty early. After five, five minutes, someone dies already. Oh, he sent level six units. Oh, well, he got fed up so hard that he could really just save for some strong units. I like that. So yeah, I I thought about like twenty minutes. What this what this game takes. But this might be might be uh, faster. Okay, so I'm still I'm still pretty fine with my income, even though I don't get many kills. Looking very good. Is yellow saving up already? Is he saving up again? Can I see his gold somewhere? No, I can't. Okay, so we don't have any problems at the moment. So I should I should save for a next headquarter. I can send a few more. I get 3k now, so I can get some income before that. Good headquarters 6, yellow is on 7 already. Yeah, green green left the game. I didn't see that. But well, actually, if you only get one guy here, that's basically the, the best way to win, so kind of not really fair because he simply gets much more gold and is able to go for a big units earlier and now he has to build up a bit I mean there's only one leak but it's dealing a lot of damage so I will actually also upgrade some units here just so I can deal with it Yeah, that should be enough, if they would hit. Might actually be time for me to, to get the next upgrade. Yeah, we lost the level 1 headquarter, no, no problem guys. <laughs> That was only the lever that got killed there. So level 7 units. He's on level 8. Razor Freak is also on 7. Ah. Go like 60k. I think 40k is too early to go for it, to save for a big units because there's a T2, but then every upgrade is 100k, 120k, 140k, and if you only got 40k income, uh, you need so long to save up. Okay, so I would like to save again for the next upgrade. For level up 8 upgrades. Here we go. He's on level 9. Well, <laughs> he simply gets so much gold. But actually, he's not, not on uh, high income at the moment. That kind of scares me. I mean, sure, his tactic was good that he saved for big units and killed. Uh, Killed the south team, but now he can he can get more income again. I will actually save for for 
the last upgrade for the first tier, just to send the level the level nine units, because the level eight units are too weak now. I want to pressure them. And I always send full, like, I never want to have more than 20 gold. So let's gather up some income. Of course, since I'm last defender, I have some problems at the moment. With the income that I'm not uh, getting as much as my as my team, for example. But still, that's fine. Ah, look at this. There were one, some of mine as well. So we make their last defender to build as well. That's pretty nice. So let's look here, maybe, because that's the place where I have to watch if if we leak something. Are looking good so far. I'm at 40k now, so soon the the saving will will start, and I would probably not save and just build up. So just in case someone sends a big unit, I'm able to hold it. So yeah, I will go for some more income. I think I go like 75k, and then go for the upgrades for the level 2 units and I will build some more units here actually also the tower builder because there are some more towers that you can build okay I want to upgrade Oh no, I didn't want it. Right, I wanted 75k first. Stupid me. So yeah, I can I can build the the archer tower already. 20k. And I will upgrade soon. And now the, the upgrades of the headquarters don't give income anymore. So you actually really have to save. So let's build some of those towers. They're actually pretty useful. Need a lot of snipers if you plan to hold, yeah. Nah, I don't know if I should actually go for it. I think I go for some more income and then I then I build. I think that will still pressure them a bit if I send those level 12 units. So let's build now. Let's build. Well, they're not sending it. So I go for some more. Oh, they, they will send soon, I'm pretty sure. No, oh, that, that's just a fake. Just, just a fake. They will send soon. They will. They are saving. I know it. I know they are saving. Job done. 
Job done. Job done. Job done. Upgrade Job done. Upgrade complete. Job done. Job Where done. Where shall my blood be spilled? can also show you the bed the better tower here and for this i need headquarters level 15 so i'm not able to build it i have to left those crappy towers <laughs> would make more sense to sell them to build something else oh let's send for income if they send we die actually that might happen so we should end it. Did I also send something now? Oh, they did. Uh, do we have enough defense for this? Oh, they died already. Yeah, okay, we won. <laughs> 16 minutes did this game take. I think often you, you win this in, in like 15. Uh, I felt like it was 20 last time, but... Well, it was a good game. <laughs> it was kind of not, not that fair. Because we were only three people and then... Yeah, well... You have an advantage then, in my opinion. So that was Stronghold, the 12th player map. There's also one with two teams I believe for 10 players or was it for 12 I don't know so thanks for watching everyone and see you on the next custom game bye bye